Yeah. How are you today? It's nearly that time of the year again. Yes, that's my cat, Lois. So, as some of you may know, uh, I have closed down uh, my Facebook page. And I left, a, I left a video there and explaining why I left it. Um, well, I didn't leave it, I've just shut it down. And it's just because I am just done with every hate, troll, biased stuff that's out there. You know, you'll get videos, you'll get positive videos and stuff like that and you'll and you'll get people shouting and claiming that the Snyder Cut is coming and it's, it's everything and they're in a positive and everything else. And yes, I've done a couple of those videos as well. But I, I also like to address what we're all feeling sometimes. And as I look at this Rotten Tomato score, I, I've noticed now that Aquaman is at 67%. 67. Uh, and even though that the film is quite almost mirrors a Marvel movie, we still have the biased, biased views. We have even the YouTubers and critics on, on media, and stuff like that. Um, they're actually seeing it as well. The biased. So let's let's look at this so-called top critic. So, and what draws me, what's very interesting here, now, one out of four, no picture, but he's a top critic for at Seattle Times, he wants to stay anonymous. Now, this person here from Newsday, gives it three out of four, Katie Walsh, top critic again. Uh, Tribune News, fret 4, fresh tomato. Uh, but here, Joseph Roskop, Jason Momoa's sub pro superhero is a welcome addition to a ponderous genre, but his movie is a, his whole is waterlogged. Score, 3 out of 5. Top critic. 3 out of 5. Now you would normally say that 3 out of 5 is closer to 5 than it is to 1. So surely that would make it fresh. But again, alas, I've always said I don't believe um, Rotten Tomatoes works that way. Now as we look at the audience, The audience, uh, it's an amazing movie, one of the best superhero movies of all time. Uh, okay, the uh, CGI was really bad. Again, and you've seen my videos on CGI, we don't care about CGI, it's underwater, it has to be CGI. Okay, and some actually say it's better CGI, I don't know. We've got a, a woman that's asked to do a Marvel movie for was it Black Widow or whatever and she says she hates the special effects that they do right and this is a director right or the fight sequences or whatever right and here we have Azim H unfortunately another likeable performance from Moa doesn't save you from the feeling that you're watching the same old thing only using comic book characters like I said, it isn't terrible, but it's nowhere near the levels of Man of Steel or the overrated Wonder Woman. In the end, it's average, nothing more. Overrated? Overrated? Seriously, Wonder Woman? It's a lot better than most of your Marvel movies. Now, again, this guy seems to be a Marvel fan. It, it must be to, to actually think that Man of Steel was somewhere down the low. But again, what do we have? It's uh it's sickening to to, to
to be in this world where you just have this sort of just before the film was released this sort of hatred for these things that yeah. But to sum it up, Aquaman is a great is a great way to kick things off in phase two of the DC Extended Universe by Damola. Uh, um, uh, give me an audience a reason why I, the movie managed to give me and the audience a reason why Aquaman needed his own movie, and I hope people will no longer think Aquaman is a joke and in fact deem a badass. The cast did an amazing job, everyone had their moment to shine. I hope we get a sequel in the future, I hope James Wan comes back to direct. I saw with my family an early screening, it's packed, it's hilarious and visually stunning. Uh, I've just as disappointed you last year, I command certainly. Uh, well not, I thoroughly enjoyed it by its flows. You know it's a good movie if the NYT gave it a negative review. New York Times, mm, I believe so. Great film, six box office success for the DC. Momo, Momo was the role of Aquaman. Uh, 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 these are good, but again, these are just individuals like you and I. You know, and what we really want is we want the whole world to enjoy these movies. We, we, uh, we want this, and and but the more. A DC film comes out, the more we 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 are living in a world where we're just uh well we're getting used to the bad reviews. And it was also said, uh, and I've looked at I've just recently looked at BVS, and that's something like um, hi up, Alan. Um, BVS was. 27% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, sadly enough, you don't get the the Ultimate Edition on, uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. And if Snyder Cut came out, you wouldn't have it on that score. And I believe if the Snyder Cut does come out, that there should be a whole showcase of it. I mean, I don't want it just on a DVD slipped under the desk or internet service provider and whatnot. No, I want the whole shebang in the cinema and given the respect that it deserves. And that way we can see where the DCU really stand and the direction that it's going in. Right now, everything's up in arms. Um, there was one, was it News or Rama or something recently, was just saying that um, there won't be a Snyder Cut because... Basically, it's not worth their while because of the performance of the previous DC movies, i.e. Batman, um, maybe Man of Steel or whatever. But again, that is due to the studio's fault and not, and also Justice League, you know. That isn't due to the director, that is due to Warner Brothers. So it's Warner Brothers that needs to lie. And I know how you, all you guys and girls are thinking out there. You know, this is our DC movies. And we're depressed at the fact that these are our heroes and they're not getting... They are not getting the, the admiration that they deserve. Now some of you might, might totally disagree and... And may love these characters and feel like you still haven't had that movie, which I, honestly I I I feel sorry for you because the the movies that have been out have been exceptionally good and mature, and people are turning their ties and people are changing their minds. But no, we are we are living in uh, uncertain times. We are living in a time where. Hatred towards DC is just the norm. Now, I'm hoping that New Year, I think New Year we're, we're only having Sazam next year, and we know that's going to be somehow light and comedy. And if that doesn't float the, the people out there that have been brainwashed into Marvel movies, 
then there is no hope for the DCU. And because Aquaman, as you may admit it or not, it's, there are more similarities to a Marvel movie than what has been done previously with DC. We have an end credit scene, we have jokes, we have colour, we have everything, but still they put it down. And don't talk to me about story or subplot. I I fell asleep through Captain America, so there is umpteen movies on the Marvel side that was no better than this. So please if you want um, the DC to continue, I just had a letter. Okay, I just I just had a letter sent to us on how we should boycott DC movies, which is totally the wrong attitude because he wants the Snyder cut. That is that is wrong. I got into a big heavy debate uh, with him, and he says, "Excuse me, do you know who you're talking to? This is a guy that actually runs a page." that was dedicated to Zack Snyder, uh, his movies, but uh, I'm also a big huge DC fan and what you're doing is harming the industry. So if you're a DC fan then stick with DC, go out and see the movies and everything else and, and, and trying to enjoy it and that's what I've done by closing down the posts for, for the page. But if the page means something to you, then please like it. Please go and visit it and share the, and check out all the hundreds and hundreds of videos and posts and albums uh, for the last 10 years defending uh, DC. And if it's something that you like and that you want to carry on, then send your messages to DC Fan Gives Hope Facebook page. Um, I know I would I would appreciate it, and I know I know there's still people out there with hope in their hearts that want what's best for DC. So please show us your love and your passion for it. Send us the messages to Facebook. Send us your like. Send us your um your messages of your hopes for the future and in the meantime let's try and have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all and 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 let's just be thankful that Aquaman uh, is, is again fighting against the critics and has, has made money against all the other now here's another interesting thing I just looked at some of the the films that have came out, and um, like Mary Poppins and and Bumblebee, they've got a higher so far a Rotten Tomato score than Aquaman. But Aquaman is still selling tickets, so let's hope that the word of mouth is still good. So let us know if you've heard good things about DC in the comments below. Thanks very much.